How to Beat Anxiety by Alec. What is anxiety? Good question. There's a lot of confusion out there about what is anxiety and what isn't. What is confusion? Whoa, slow down there. We can't cover everything today. Back to anxiety. Uh, anxiety is a condition in which things that should feel like actually feel more like We all feel a bit uneasy now and again, but there's a big difference between feeling and Anxiety is probably kind of common. The chances are one in a Huh Computers off Chances are pretty good that you or someone you love suffers from anxiety. Maybe you have a cousin with student loan debt, or maybe you've got a small dog that gets a little case of the shakes every time a thunderstorm rolls around. Maybe the sun comes out from behind the clouds in the middle of when you're trying to record a video and that makes it harder because then you got all this inconsistency with the light and ugh. Or maybe you've clogged the toilet at a friend's house in a bathroom with no plunger and you... Actually, no, that... That's way beyond anxiety. The bottom line is, anxiety is a growing problem for you, your family, and your emotionally fragile pets. Hi, my name is Alec, and these glasses give me more credibility when I tell you that today, I'm gonna teach you how to beat anxiety. With these four tactics, three tactics, I'm gonna give you the tools that you need to fight back against anxiety when it comes knocking at your door. Sorry, anxiety, I would not be interested in a free copy of the Book of Mormon. Our first tactic in the fight against anxiety is what experts call the box. Here's what you do. Close your eyes and dust off that old imagination that you used to be so fond of. For those of you who have allowed corporate nine to five gigs to atrophy your imagination muscles, I've prepared some drawings for you so you can re-experience what it was like before you were dead inside. Now I want you to imagine a box, okay? Next, I want you to imagine putting all your anxieties into that box. You might be thinking, Alec, how am I gonna fit Thanksgiving with my girlfriend's extended family in a box? Well, that's easy, okay? Because all your anxieties are actually on a flash drive. And we're not talking like a two gigabyte flash drive. We are talking eight gigabytes. So all your anxieties are gonna fit on there real easy. Next, I want you to imagine putting that box up in a cabinet, all right? This is apparently a real thing. I didn't, I didn't make this up. So we're gonna put it up in that cabinet. We're just gonna slap it on in there, make it all nice and secure. And now you're just gonna walk away and never come back. And they're gone forever. Easy as that. You just gotta keep yourself from going back to it. Pretend it's your ex's Facebook page. Just, there's nothing there for you. All right, just, just stay away. On to the second tactic, this one is called the Sunset Cruise, and it'll also require the use of your imagination. So uh, feel free to press pause, catch your breath if you're feeling a bit tapped out after that last one. And for those of you who aren't the least bit tired, this tactic is gonna be especially useful because it's specifically designed for when Mr. Anxiety and his rowdy gang keep you awake at night. So here's what you do. As you're lying in bed at night, just let the anxious thoughts come as they please. And each time they do, Take that thought and put it on a little boat, okay? And then take that boat and send it off into the horizon. Just let it vanish into the sunset, never to return from its voyage. Hence the name. So you get the idea. You don't have to stop the anxieties from appearing, but each time they do appear, don't hold on to them, all right? Give them a little nudge, send them away. You know, kind of like when uh, your cat wants to go out and you, know, you open that little slit in the sliding glass door and they just stare there suddenly overwhelmed by the abundance of options you've granted them, laid at their little paws, and you know, just give them a little nudge, all right? Hey, go do your business in the woods, have fun, we'll see you in the morning. We're coming up on tactic number three here, and maybe you find yourself still wanting after those first two. Alec, you say. Those were all fine and dandy, but give me the real deal, all right? I, I, I don't want any more of this flowery imagination stuff. I want real tips. All right, buddy, slow down there because some of us happen to like flowers. But I get your point. You wanna take this anxiety stuff with your bare hands, get in there, take the bull by the horns and just rip it apart. And you know, I applaud you for that. Woo. Well, sounds like you're in luck, you frazzled mess, because tactic number three, the butter churn, is right up your filthy unkempt alley. Now here's what you do. Find yourself a comfortable place to sit and uh, plop yourself down with a cup of coffee because this might take a while. Now I need you to focus and think about your anxieties. You're gonna have to go to some of the dark recesses of your mind to figure this out, but think about why those things make you anxious and what it really stems from. 
Find out where those anxieties live, all right? Follow them and corner them in a dark alley and look those anxieties right in their beady little eyes and say, hey, I've got your number, you little worm, all right? Your days pushing me around are over, you hear me? Finito! I know where you live, all right? I know where your kids go to daycare. I know your favorite Arby's. Everywhere you look, I'm gonna be there. Look at me, look at me. I am the anxiety now. There you have it. Three tactics you can use to beat anxiety and reassert control over your life. At least, that's what I do. I mean, they don't work, but that's what I do. Well, that brings us to the end of the show, and we all know what that means. It's time for how many hairs are out theirs. Since moving, I've been seeing a lot of little bunny rabbits around my new apartment, and I thought it would be interesting to see how many there are out there, because I see them everywhere. And what I found might surprise you. In the surveyed area of 30 feet around my apartment, I found only one bunny rabbit, but I found him so many times. So I'm beginning to develop this theory that there is only one rabbit in the area. I think maybe there's like some sort of bunny rabbit caucus and then they like assign them regions or something because you know if you go too far maybe you'll see a different one but they don't they don't cross into each other's territory this one lives in in these bushes and like that's his zone so um for the answer of how many hairs are out there's one just one in fact and i've named him kelly what are you what are you surprised that guys are sometimes named kelly out there all right well i have one thing to say to you Good morning, because I'm just gonna assume that you woke up from a pretty long coma. Welcome to 2019, where guys are named Kelly and families don't eat dinner together anymore. I think you're probably gonna wanna check out Netflix. It's kind of the thing right now. That would be pretty harsh for someone who just woke up from a coma. So uh, I hope you're able to find your way in this new society, in, in all, this all this newness. You have a lot of newness before you. This has been how many hairs are out theirs? All right, that's gonna do it. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.